like for an infant dome it's too shallow? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like a peninsula. Oh, so, so like all never the water coming out uh -huh. deposits all of its sediment right there on that corner. Oh. Did you get our lovely storm behind us? <laughs> Yes, we're on. You got, you got, you got to talk to your followers. <laughs> yeah. It was a three-hour <laughs> tour. Uh, three today is what's what's today? The eighth. Today's the eighth. Yeah. Today's the eighth, 2021, right before Mother's Day. Celebrating the best. That would be me. Yes. Yeah. yeah what what a wonderful celebration with the storm. Chasing yes. the storm. Apparently, they're trying to kill me off with the big storm <laughs> that we're, we're trying to outrun in our sailboat. We would never. If I, we had my power boat, we would definitely be ahead of it. We'd be going back into the rain right now. It's raining back in oh, us. Oh, Shut up. What's happening? Yeah. All right. So put the, let's put the camera away. I, was, I really was ready to get on my phone and take a video of you because your face is so red. And then I was like, how red was it? Why was his face so red? I don't remember. I don't know. I think it was getting pelted. And I was like, oh, God. What did you guys I'm think? We survived. It was we terrifying. Survived. <laughs> Cheers to life. Yeah. Never going out on a sailboat again in any threat of any bad weather. <laughs> Thought for sure we were flipping over. <laughs> but we're alive. What do Thank you think, God. Carm? I mean, you didn't do it much, was, but it was fun, um, and it was good. But uh, what did I think? It was fun, and it was a time. We had a fun time. Like what did you say? I don't know. I, I don't, don't know, know if fun time's the right like, description. Was no, that was, was not fun. fun. So we just got back to the dock, and I think the last video we took was um, the the storm coming in, and everything on the radar was saying the wind wasn't going to be you know super strong. It was just going to be you know standard little rain and stuff, and we ended up with gale force winds. So it was it was intense. Um, we lost one of the solar panels. Uh, one of the solar panels is, um, well, two of them ripped off. One of them actually ripped off into the water. And this is the, the ends of the cables. You can see there's, you know, there's still one up there. This one completely ripped down and was swinging around. It was, the wind was so strong that this actually, this panel, which was screwed down through the aluminum, ripped off. You can see this, the screws there, completely ripped through the aluminum on the panel. Um, we lost our flag, the flag got ripped off, and our jib is actually pretty badly damaged. So we had the jib out while we were sailing, and then the rain, we assumed that the rain wasn't going to be super strong, and I was just about to bring it in and furl it partially so we could reef the jib, and um, that was kind of when it hit. And uh, basically what we did at that point was... Um, I started the engine back up, or the engine was still on in preparation just in case it was bad, which it obviously was. So I started the engine back up and um, basically pointed us into the wind so that we could try to get the jib furled um, completely. And it was so strong, we had um, me, uh, Sid's dad, Samir, and then um, her sister's uh, boyfriend, Joey, all pulling the jib furling line to get it in. On top of that, not only was it rain, it was about marble-sized hail. Um, so we were getting pelted with that. And I had the engine completely full throttle. We're hitting about 3,400 RPMs, which is what the engine's rated for, um, directly into the wind. And we were going about one knot. And the waves rose up to about, if I had to guess, probably four to five feet. Um, and so we're, we spent about four or five minutes just trying to get the jib in and I finally got it in um, most of the way and then I was able to um, back off on the engine. The engine actually overheated uh, and it actually, the, the engine overheating happened at almost the perfect timing of when we had the um, jib for the most part furled. I wanted just a little bit out so we would still have maneuverability. So um, we, I, you know, killed the engine obviously because it was overheating. Um, and then used the little piece of jib as our you know, main steering and then pointed the boat downwind. Um, once we got downwind, it was a, a lot smoother, I guess, to an extent. It was still like 60 mile per hour winds. Um, our jib lost a lot of the thread in it um, and it ripped in a couple spots, so we have to repair that because um, it was flapping around. Um, uh, part of our bimini ripped as well, just from the wind alone. Uh, so 
that was an issue, and I just realized that we also lost our Wi-Fi access point. So that's completely gone too. I literally just saw that right now. So we lost our Wi-Fi access point, our flag. Um, you can see the paddle on the dinghy is just hanging there. Luckily the dinghy was okay. Um, and luckily we were all okay, but uh, it was crazy. Um, multiple boats capsized. Uh, we were listening to you know Channel 16 while we were out there. Um, our uh, our friends here, they were out actually on their, uh, I think it's a Sea Ray 270X. They almost sunk. Um, the waves were so big. They took on, they were taking on a ton of water and um, bilge pump was just barely able to keep up. So it was pretty scary. Um, I mean, I was, I was okay, you know, I, I figured we were going to be okay until the engine overheated because we, you know, we were maintaining control. Worst case scenario was that the jib was just going to rip and shred off, which isn't really the end of the world. I mean, it sucks, but it's, you know, not, no one's going to get hurt. But um, once the engine overheated, um, that was when I kind of was, was starting to get actually pretty worried. Um, and uh, the, the hail and the wind was so bad that Sydney's actually covered in welts from the hail. Um, because she didn't have enough time to put the her jacket on and the hail was hitting so hard that her entire upper body is covered in welts um, all of her arms and everything and um, I actually was standing up here trying to get the the main zipped up and covered and uh, the, the jib sheet here was whipping across and hitting me in the leg so hard my entire left side of my leg is like completely black and blue and covered in welts from from this thing whipping around when the sail was kind of loose. So um, it was it was a pretty crazy experience, as I'm sure you can tell from <laughs> my tone. Uh, we're still kind of kind of decompressing after it all, um, and we learned learned quite a bit.